All right, so in this uh, fifth example, I'm just going to discuss how to link to and use custom icons in your maps. So Leaflet has a bunch of custom or regular icons that it uses. So for example, like the blue teardrop, um, but you can use a variety of other uh, icons. Um, generally, icons will be made available either in a vector graphic format like SVG or a compressed raster format like PNG. Um, so the ones I'm using are specifically from um, Font Awesome. Um, this is a pretty good library of fonts or, and icons. Um, the icon, a lot of the icons are free. Some of, if you want to have a lot of functionality and, of, and have you know, uh, more options available, you can pay for a subscription, but there are free options. Um, you do have to create like a user account. Okay, so uh, let's uh, look at our map. So this is, n note that this is nonsense. These are all cities and I just used some different kind of tourist and landscape based symbols. So they don't actually relate to anything. That's just uh, for the sake of demonstration. Okay, so um, in order to use our fonts, I had to um, link to this uh, font awesome my font awesome library um, and if you get an account it'll tell you how to do that and this isn't really even specific to a web map it's just if you're going to use them in a website in general and then to actually use those I'm using this awesome markers plugin and then yeah and that so it's basically those are the two new ones the rest we've basically uh, used before and there's uh, again some CSS associated with that awesome markers uh, plugin Okay, so to actually call in and use those um, those icons, um, I use this method awesome markers dot icon, and I'm saving each of these to a variable. So they have different names. So this one's a lemon, um, and I can set a collar. They're like SVG graphics, so you can you know manipulate their collars and whatnot. Um, here I have a tree. It's green roads, red, you can see that there, um, campground, and snowflake. So again, I'm just using these named icons from this uh, awesome, um, um, awesome uh, icons, awesome markers library. Okay, um, and then I'm pulling in the cities, and um, I'm creating a function to to just to change the symbology. So the input's JSON and lat long coordinates. Then from the attributes, I'm pulling out uh, the attributes into an, a variable called at. And then I create this switch that uses the pop class field, uh, which are basically just uh, groupings of cities by population range. So if it's five, I'm gonna show it with M1, which in this case would be the lemon. If it's six, then it's M2, which would be the trees, and so on and so forth. So for example, the last one, nine, we'll use marker five, which is the snowflake. Um, and then we return basically that, the lat long coordinate for that point, and then the symbol. And then I'm now I'm also binding, instead of a pop-up, I'm binding a tooltip, where it's basically just some text. And all it says is font awesome icon, if you hover over any of these. It's kind of similar to a pop-up, but they're really just designed for text, and you can have generally a little bit more text than you would have like in a pop-up. Okay, so that's basically it. So in order to uh, use different icons, you can create some and store it locally on your account and then link to them. If you want to use a library like um, like Font Awesome, then you can get a kit set up, and again, just go to the website there, and it'll explain how to do that. And then you'll have to link to that in your document. And then um, also, in this case, we use this Awesome Markers uh, plugin, and then I basically just pulled in the markers that I wanted and then use those as in this custom symbology based on the population size. So um, anyway, that's a that's pretty simple explanation of how you can use, uh, use a, a variety of different types of icons in, in, in Leaflet.